Hey, what's going on, guys? My name is Brandon. Welcome to Audio Addiction, where we finally get album reviews. You can find our band interviews, and you can find live coverage of the concerts that we get. Uh, I will be going to a ton of shows uh, this upcoming weekend and next week, so I hope to get a ton of live footage if I can. Um, it's definitely up to the venue and things of that nature, but I try to get as much as I can uh, if possible. So definitely be on the lookout for that, as well as a ton more album reviews. There's a ton of albums that came out today that was completely taken aback by, so uh, I'm definitely going to have to do a lot more. Hopefully this weekend or this next following week, I will be trying to get to those. So uh, if you enjoy any of the things coming up, please subscribe. Please hit that thumbs up. It really does go a long way, and thank you guys for your support. So tonight... We're going to be talking about Loathe and Holding Aspen's new EP, This As One. So I actually think that these two bands are really up and coming UK bands. And if you haven't heard of either of them, they are both signed to Sharp Tone Records which I also feel like is a very up-and-coming label. Uh, they have had some really awesome releases so far in uh, 2018, Don Broco's new record, Technology. If you haven't checked that out, uh, I would highly, highly, highly recommend checking that one out. Um, but I just recently saw Loathe on the uh, Wage Ward uh, Dead Weight Part 2 tour, and they just ripped it. Uh, they are an absolutely killer band live. Um, I picked up Cold Sun, which is their most latest release, and uh, holding absence i actually interviewed them uh prior to them signing the sharp tones uh fez shout outs to my boy he's really good uh and uh they just holding absence has been killing it for a little bit and i'm excited that they are finally on sharp tone and that um they got some really great things to come in the rest the rest of this year but i figure i do this split ep because i don't get to do these too often and uh it's one of two of my probably my favorite up and coming bands in the scene so far so i really wanted to kind of dive into each track give you my thoughts and opinions on them um there was actually seven tracks if you bought the vinyl uh there's two other tracks two live tracks uh one from loathe it's called it's yours i think it was from a previous record i don't know if it's from cold sun i'll have to double check that um and then permanent uh they release a seven inch uh vinyl of that from holding absence and they these tracks are both done live. Uh, I don't know if it was done at a show or they did it in the studio and it was kind of live. Um, but either way, they both sound incredible. Um, unfortunately, again, I couldn't, I'm not going to really comment on them because they are tracks that have been released already. Uh, but otherwise, really good tracks. So go check those out. Uh, so we're going to get into the first one, which is called White Hot. Um, this one was one of the singles. I know that they released one of each single from the band um and this one definitely comes out the gate swinging um and then it kind of mellows out in the pre-chorus and then picks back up again as well um but for me this track has definitely a strong uh deftones vibe to it i feel like this band kind of borrows a lot from new metal uh progressive uh metalcore also feel like gent uh things of that nature they kind of run the gambit of all those genres there's even a little bit deathcore um in the cold sun uh, which again, I'd highly recommend checking out. It's one of my favorites from last year. Um, but this one was really good. Uh, I think that uh, Kadeem and Shane uh, really have unique cleans of their own. Uh, Kadeem is the lead vocalist and he does the screams, but he also does some singing as well. And Shane is their bass player, but he also does cleans. And most, I think most of the band, excluding the drummer, do some sort of backing vocals in some capacity. But I think Shane is kind of their like lead backing vocalist, if that makes sense. Um, and he really has a unique style to his voice, and I think it counter uh, balances uh, with Kadeem's vocals. I think he really does an awesome job, too. Also, I don't know if I'm pronouncing his name right either. I'm super bad with names, so excuse me for that. Uh, but the instrumentals have this awesome grooviness and just bounce to it. Uh, and I love the part between 2 minutes and 45 seconds to the 3 minutes and 20 second mark. That just absolutely goes in, has some great fullness and great aggression. Uh, and I think it's an absolute banger to start off the record. So we're going to move into track number two, which is Servant and Master. Uh, this one, again, isn't one that you heard, but it was really good. Um, really love the dissonant guitars uh, paired with the drums at the intro. I thought that was really cool. And then it kind of just drops you in, much like uh, White Hot. 
Um, I feel like it's just as heavy and it has that strong new metal like influence to it, which is awesome. Um, and it just doesn't, it cuts right to the chase. There isn't really, um, Go, there isn't much going on but just super heavy and it just doesn't make any apologies it just really kind of just throws you right in and just you know just begs you for mercy uh love the riff at the one minute and 55 second mark to the two minutes and 13 second mark that's probably one of my favorite riffs off the entire ep um and i just like the electronically uh styled vocals in the bridge and just um, how the ending has this awesome kind of cool dark undertone to it um, kind of a lot of the similar uh, styling to what they did in cold sun um, which is great i love that they're kind of continuing that sort of vibe into this next ep and maybe next kind of record uh, in the foreseeable future but we're going to move into track number three which is saint celia um super grid track i think this was one of the singles as well um and this one has more of an alternative and post hardcore feel to it obviously being a different band holding absence um but it feels like a really nice counterbalance to what loathe is and i think that's what really striked me um in this ep is just a nice kind of counterplay between uh the two different bands that kind of have a different sound to them um each in their own right um but i think that it just kind of works i would have loved maybe like like stagger tracks i would have loved for like white hot and then saint celia and then servant master and then everything i think that would have been a little bit better off in terms of just um interesting styling instead of like the first half of the record kind of or ep sounding like super heavy in the second half kind of being softer um but nonetheless really great track i love lucas's vocals um I think they are really awesome. Again, they have this uniqueness to it, uh, which really, uh, I feel like, differentiates them from a lot of other kind of post-hardcore bands that have maybe a similar sort of styling. Um, I feel like this one, they really he reached their height in the chorus with the harmonization. I feel like that is kind of like the the focal point of this song. I would say the chorus is definitely um, something that I was just like super pumped on every time I got back to it and I just like how all the tracks kind of have this real etherealness to it and just kind of um ambientness to it I think it really kind of again plays with how different loads sound is um and it's really kind of a nice change of pace so we're gonna move into track number four which is everything um this one also has some really awesome ambience to it as well and I just like that it adds this kind of fullness to the track um, I also like that the drums and kind of the bass take more of a precedence in this track. Uh, I feel like it offers kind of a great backbone to um, a real kind of like ethereal sound in the in the sort of guitar department. Um, and I think that it they definitely take more of the lead. The bass and the drums take more of the lead in this track, which is great. Um, I also like that you can kind of hear more of the tender, more kind of spacious vocals from Lucas. Um, again, kind of playing off St. Celia. Uh, I feel like they both kind of sway in that balance, but it's super good. And the ending by far is my favorite part. I think that they just kind of ended off on a solid note. And um, yeah, definitely enjoyed this track as well. So um, my only con about this record, first of all, it's way too short. I, I know that again it's a split uh, i would have loved more tracks and the second thing is i would have loved for them to i know it's a split but i would love for them maybe like to kind of split up the record it would have been cool if they worked on a track together and the other other um split slash combination i can think of is when in hearts wake did that ep uh with north lane the equinox ep uh, I really liked that they kind of collabed on the tracks together. I don't know if they did that in this case as well, um, but I would have loved a track that kind of merged their two sounds together. That would have been really interesting. Um, and I always love splits. I think that a lot of bands don't do it enough, and it's really unique. It's really interesting, and it's kind of cool to see two different um, bands and kind of like different sides of music kind of merged together um under one sort of record i think it's really neat uh and it's definitely one that i would implore you to pick up if you'd like um i know the vinyl version is the only one that they offer with the live version so i will definitely you know if you're into vinyl i would pick that up if you can if not definitely pick it up on the on itunes check it out on spotify um but this record is really good it definitely took me by surprise 
Uh, I would have never expected these pans to work together. I know that they b both reside in the UK, um, but it was really cool of them for for them to kind of, I guess, work with each other and make a track that and an EP that kind of merges their two fan bases together. So my overall rating for the Loathe holding absence, this is as one EP. I'm going to be giving it a 9.3 out of 10. I think it's really solid. Um, I think if you're into the more kind of post-hardcore, like alternative, like kind of softer stuff, I would definitely go with the sort of holding absence side of the EP. Um, but if you like the heavier, more gritty, kind of like funky um, stuff, I would definitely go with the loathe side. If you love both, then you're kind of hitting a home run in that regard because it kind of mixes both genres and kind of um, puts in a really unique place. So um, let me know in the comments what your thoughts on this. Uh, R, I would love to know. I think it was really thoroughly executed well, uh, and I really love both bands. I definitely feel like they are bands that are up and coming, and um, I think they got a lot of great stuff coming out in 2018. Uh, it's just, they are just two bands to keep an eye out for. Uh, if you haven't already, uh, please go check them out. Uh, and if you enjoyed this review, Definitely make sure to hit that subscribe button. Make sure to hit that like button. Plenty of cool stuff coming up in 2018. So definitely be on the lookout for that. And um, again, my name is Brandon. We hope you got your fix. And we'll be talking with you soon. Peace. Hey guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, thanks for watching, of course. Uh, if you enjoy what we do, make sure to go check out the other series we do. We do album reviews, we do band interviews, and we do live videos. So definitely go check that out. Um, hit that subscribe button, it really helps our channel, helps us grow. Make sure to hit that like button as well. Uh, go follow us on social media, that's all down below. We try to keep that as updated as possible. We also made a new website where we'll be posting photos of upcoming concerts and stuff like that, which you can go check out at audioaddictionmedia.com and come get your fix with us, guys. Talk to you later. Deuces!